Hey everyone, it's TRBS here and I just kind of wanted to show you the gaming setup in here. It's nothing uh, super fantastic. There's no LED lights hanging around everywhere or anything like that, but um, it's pretty simplistic and I wanted to just show you um, how I have things set up in here and arranged to, you know, meet my gaming environment and my needs and stuff and just show some of the things I have. You know, I think some of them are kind of neat. So I'll just start with this blue aim controller for the PS5. Um, yeah, there's this website's incredible. Honestly, if you're looking to take your gaming, you know, experience and uh, skills to the next level, then I highly recommend visiting their website. And I'll have it linked in the description below. But yeah, I can vouch for years of their stellar product and uh, what they offer on their website. It's, it's so incredible and you can just see for yourselves if you check out their website and see all the different features they have. But even the, down to the box, like the box is really sturdy and um, there's styrofoam here as you see. And so it's, um, it's really nicely designed and I, I really uh, love their products. So I highly recommend them. But anyways, we'll go over here and um, you probably expected a typical rolling gaming chair, but no, I just gamed on this base chair for years and I just, I sit back on like most people who game who like to sit straight up, but I know it's not good for my posture, but yeah, I just like to relax when I um, have downtime and am able to play and stuff. But yeah, um, that's the chair I use. It's nothing it's too special, but it's been reliable for um, years on end. And uh, I really enjoy it just for a comfortability and practical standpoint. So, Here's a Call of Duty Monkey Bomb controller holder. Something I just got as like a little gag gift for Christmas. I, I thought that was pretty neat. I don't really use it, but it's just there to showcase with these on these uh, lamp shelves. As I actually built this lamp, I really like it a lot. Came and I assembled it, had it for about a year. And here's Spyro and Crash Bandicoot controller holders as well. So I have a three in total, but. Yeah, I don't really get much use out of these, but they're just kind of there for show purposes. But yeah, these are my childhood games. So those are really uh, kind of neat that I was able to find those. Here's my router. You can tell um, I'm hardwired by an ethernet cable that a technician gave me about two years ago. I've had this cable ever since. And it's really short. It's only about, yeah, four feet in length, I believe, not even that. So, you know, it gets the job done. It's always good having your router really close to, um, you know, whatever gaming uh, console you use or platform you have, PC, whatever, yeah, whichever one you, you know, you utilize. Um, just have good lighting. I really prioritize that in this room. Um, blinds and bamboo, curtain, that help with the sunlight. Um, another lamp there, a smaller one there. That's just kind of the layout of the room. I have the A40s here. Yeah, everybody knows Astro. I'll link it down in the description as well. But yeah, stupidly, you know, the PS5 didn't include a toss link port. So that's kind of, um, yeah, unfortunate. But I remedied that by there's this product, this adapter for the A40s on Astro's website. And I'll, I'll submit the link in the description below. But yeah, it works well. It gets hot sometimes, but. That's as expected with any adapter, but it's been reliable. So I, you know, I really recommend that if you're looking to keep your old headset with the PS5. I don't know why Sony didn't include a toss link for it, but anyways, here's um an Acer 1080p 27 inch monitor. So um yeah, one millisecond response time. I mean, and um yeah, it's just 60 hertz, but that's okay because I'm not looking to upgrade a monitor anytime soon. Yeah. You know 120 would be good because i have a ps5 but it's not that big of a deal the picture quality is surreal i don't have it turned on right now but it's the colors are so accurate it's ridiculous i did extensive research on this so you know it, it really shows it when it when it plays and here's the mix amp for the astro you can uh tamper with your volume settings and whatnot if you like to record gameplay and stuff so that's always good um i'm going to show you the back of these controllers what they feature so the back, you have two paddles, spider action edition, but you can have up to four actually. I just thought four would be too many because 
it's a lot of buttons to memorize, you know, for a controller. So I just ordered two, but they have a lot of options as far as the remappable paddles go, and you can just get standard non-remappable for less money. So that's uh, convenient. And this little PS5 Lego brick skin is from uh, decalgirl.com. And I think they have the best skins for electronics on the market. So if you want, you know, a skin for really any electronic from laptops, gaming consoles, iPads, phones, you know, Nintendo Switch or whatnot, I'd go to this website. And I, once again, I'll have this linked in the description below in case any of you want to check it out. The prices are really competitive. Um, they offer bundles sometimes as well, but yeah, most of the prices are pretty cheap. So, you know, I really do recommend it, but that's really my whole setup. Um, my cable management, wire management is not good at all, as you can see, but it doesn't really bother me. I know some people are sticklers about it, but I'm really not. Um, this is the whole view of the setup and that's really it it's nothing too fantastic or anything but i just wanted to showcase it just to show you all um the room i get my gameplays in stuff so and how i have it set up so thanks for watching and uh stay tuned for my next video probably a commentary or a gameplay or whatnot but yeah have a great day